Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's video is going to be how to get any job that you want. And I've got an email that I got from a guy that that uh, that reads my articles apparently, and he's basically doing the things that a lot of people are doing. He's applying online. He's sending in emails, uh, either through the mail or just emailing them and and. What's interesting about that is technology has made people lazy. They, they figure if they're sitting at home just clicking, bank, 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 sending resumes out left and right, that that's going to magically make somebody pick up the phone and, and call you. Not that it won't, but it, when you look at today's market and the fact the the jobs are continuing to shrink, the economy is continuing to get worse and worse, so you have people that were up here with a level of skill and income who no longer can get employed in their fields and so instead now they're working in sectors that they're way overqualified for and they're getting obviously way underpaid but that's what it makes and so the people that were normally on that rung they're getting bumped down to the next level and so there's a lot of competition for jobs and so employers that that are looking for to hire people I mean they're inundated with, with resumes and so what you gotta do is you gotta stand out and so on this, I've written an article called several months, I actually was last year, called How to Get Any Job You Want. And I've got a bunch of inf information and resources in there that you can read. But the thing with, that you've got to separate yourself. You've got, you've got to be different than the other people. And it's like when I was back, when I was looking to get jobs from other people, I'd show up at their office, I'd bring my resume, personally deliver it, I would call and follow up. If... And even when I was in my young, my 20s, when I went to get a job in a restaurant. I mean, I, you have to go there in person, and if they don't, they're not hiring today. It doesn't mean they won't be in two weeks or two months. So you got to follow up. So make a list of all the places that you want to work. Your top, say, 30 or 40 places. Because if you're out of work and you need to get a job fast, you need to be spending every minute of your day either on the phone, following up with people you sent a resume to or dropping by their office just to say hello. And if somebody says, hey, I'm not hiring today, just say, okay, well, when do you guys think you'll be hiring again? If they say two months, then great. Follow up with them in two months. And you got to keep doing that. The squeaky wheel is going to get the oil. And as an employer, when I was in the real estate business, we would only hire people that, I mean, because we could resumes fax all the time. Even now, I get freaking resumes constantly. People want, and want me to hire them as life coaches and stuff. And when, like I say, when I was in real estate, the people I would hire were either people that would like keep showing up or that would come by. They were just persistent because those people that were persistent, they had something. They had a spark. They had an enthusiastic. They had enthusiasm about them, and those kind of people, especially you know, being in a sales business. It was interesting. People that you kind of you're calling them, and it's just a total, total different energy. Somebody's basically kicking your door to to get in and get hired is going to be a great employee because they're going to work their asses off for you. And the people that are you know you got to kind of chase and call and play phone tag with that aren't really that aggressive, they're, they're going to be kind of the same way when when they work for you. So there, there's a couple things here. Is that he's also mentioning that he feels lost. He doesn't know what to do and. And this is, can, can be a really scary time, especially with you know when it's difficult. Because I, I talk to people all the time that they've worked constantly for 20, 30 years, and now they're in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and they're out of work and trying to find a job, and, and nobody wants to hire them because they're older or they've got too much experience. And so the only thing they can get is like a, a greeter at Walmart making you know minimum wage, six, seven bucks an hour, whatever is it, it they pay. And, you know, a guy that's used to making a hundred grand a year, and he's got a mortgage and a family and car payments. You know, that that's a very stressful situation. So, if if you're unemployed or you're looking for a job or you're looking to change jobs, is that you need to change your approach. You need to stand out. You need to stand up above the crowd. You need to be willing to do the things that other people aren't willing to do. Because most people, I can tell you, they don't follow up. They'll send you an email and you never hear from them again. And those, those like those are the type of people I hire, people that work for me, people that are consistent and, and persistent and go after it because they'll bust your ass, they'll make you a lot of money. And so you've got to be the type of employee that, that people would want to hire. So if you find these messages of value, 
There's a PayPal donate button on the bottom of the screen and it will be a toolbar on the, on the right hand side. So anytime that you're watching a video or you're reading an article of mine or an ebook that I've done or an audio, audio, audio track that I've, I've put together and you feel that it's added significant value to your life, click the PayPal donate button, send me a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars, you know, anytime you feel I've added significant value to your life. At the very least, please share this page with your friends and family by just clicking either the Facebook like button or sharing it on LinkedIn or Twitter. I've got all the buttons on for all the common social networks at the bottom of the screen to make it really easy to share. And if you got any questions or any comments or you need help with anything, i got a Facebook commenting system. It's right down at the very bottom of at the end of this article. Just put your comment or your question there and give me a few days and I'll get back to you. And if you want to send me a question through email, there's... The email address to send your questions in is right on the screen, and I will talk to you soon.